Let's keep going. Hank! I didn't think I'd see- Oh! <gasps> Connor's back! Connor's back! Connor's back! Hell yeah! I did have backups. I am alive still. Hell yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Hank looks confused and conflicted. How much of my memory did I lose? Did I... Am I the same Connor at all, or am I completely different? My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to- Yes! You died in my arms. And now you're back here as if nothing happened. Yes, I am an android, Hank. Why you gotta be like that? No, 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 no. I saved your life. I, um... I heard Officer Chris was attacked by deviants last night. Oh, I didn't know who Chris was. Yeah, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But he got lucky. Where are we? Intervened to save him. He's still in shock, but at least he's alive. You guys stay in shock for a really long time for police officers. So we're back to being buddies now, Hank. Oh, hey. The person from the main menu. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please come in. Ooh, who's Elijah Kamsky? Why are we here? What's going on? I'm. I think I missed something because I died. So I guess it wasn't a game over for Connor. It was just like I miss out on part of the story, which I, I can know. deal with. Please make yourself comfortable. Also, Hank didn't like the fact that I come back from the dead. I mean, I'm an android. It makes sense that they would back me up, especially if I'm an expensive android, and a prototype at that. But I have all my memories, Hank. I'm exactly who I was before. I just got shot. Wait for the android. Sincere. Right. She's really pretty. I will nice wait place. here with my friend Hank. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Mm -hmm. I don't really want any no. of these, but. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Oh god, what a stupid I'd a picture. Things I'd want to tell him. Is that the Eye of Sauron on the wall? This place is evil as fuck! It's so gaudy. I don't like this place. It's terrible. Glad you will see you now. Hmm. Meet Kamsky. Get information from Kamsky. Is that a pool of blood? What the hell is happening here? This is, this is an evil lair. This is a fucking evil lair. There's the Eye of Sauron outside. There's a fucking pool of blood. This indoor waterfall. It's so evil. Everything here is evil. This is the most evilest evil that ever eviled. Let me guess, he's also an asshole, because of course he is. Or is the- no. It's just regular water, the bottom is painted red, yeah? Okay. It looked like a pool of blood. A literal pool of blood. When I walked in. But he's got a man bun, so he's automatically evil. What a fucking douche. The same pretty woman all around him. 
I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Are you going to be difficult? I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Is this guy important in Cyberlife? Really rich dude. Deviants. He said I meek my maker. Fast Did this guy make androids? I'm gonna guess. Beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. I mean, not infinite. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Cool. Isn't that ironic? No. Sure, whatever. I just don't want it to be right about anything. Um, virus. Seems to spread like some kind of virus. Yes! Point that out. It's very obvious. All ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? No, but this one literally spreads like a virus. Like, people, deviants can infect others, pretty much. Or at least Marcus can. For no reason. Or for a reason. Whose side are you on? Direct? Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Nah, uh, I don't know. I don't Neutral. want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Yep. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. Sure, whatever. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple. You'll see. What a fucking dick. God, I hate you. Isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. Young and beautiful forever. Flower. You're so creepy right now. What is it really? You know, wax poetic it's like an evil villain does. Or a living being. Well, it's not deviant it's yet, so still just the machine. It becomes a living being when it becomes deviant, right? Unless deviancy is just a virus, in which case the it's entire question is moot. That fascinating question, Connor. What are you doing? Destroy this machine. And I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. I feel like you don't know anything. I feel like you're just a crazy person. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Hank says we're leaving, so we're leaving. Decide who you are. Fuck off. An obedient machine. Well, see if I follow. With free will. If I don't That's shoot enough. this thing, Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger, Connor. Don't. And I'll tell you what you want to know. I'm ordered to follow Hank's orders. So he said, "Don't shoot," which means I'm following orders and being a machine by not shooting. But if I shot him, I would be disobeying orders. If I shot the girl, and I would be disobeying orders, and that would be evidence of deviancy. Following your orders is not within my programming, so it makes more sense to do what Hank says. So your test doesn't make sense. No, I'm following Hank's orders. You don't know anything about my programming. You're a fucking moron. This scene doesn't make sense. I'm out of here. Let's go, Hank. I'm done with this asshole. I don't care anymore. Cool. You'll have to choose your side. Great. I hope they kill you. I hope someone burns this house to the ground with you in it. One of those things is an evil. You crazy person. 
I don't think you understand what evil is, Mr. Evil Person in an Evil Lair. You never know. Ugh, that scene doesn't make any sense. Why didn't you shoot? Because you ordered me not to. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yeah, Hank, go up. But also, I'm not being deviant. I can't stress this enough. I'm ordered to follow your orders. I'm programmed to follow your orders, not ordered to follow your orders. But you know what I mean. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. And that's good. That's also the decision that makes sense. <sighs> well, I didn't like that. That was dumb. Wait for Hank, 32%. I guess that's only unlocked, okay. If you only died in that last scene, which apparently only 32% of people did. Everyone else came with Hank. Kamsky is the guy who made androids, I guess? But he's really young, like really young. And I feel like androids, were they just really recent? Because they're really advanced. So usually the most recent thing is like, it takes time to get to this level of advancement, you know? So like, wouldn't the first prototype have been made? I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Who knows? Who cares? 100% of people talk to Hank. I don't know what the fuck there else there is to do in there because I didn't see anything, but who cares? No one else does any of the other things that's in there, apparently. So no one else also knows what the hell it is you can do while you're waiting for Kamsky. And then 86% of people spare the Chloe um, with the other 14% choosing to shoot her going down that route which is a lot more complicated than this one, but whatever. I don't care. That's a dumb scene. <laughs>